What's up everyone, welcome to episode 19 of Game Dev. In this episode we're actually going to be converting this 3D project into a 2D project, uh, just to prep for the level a little bit. Now, why we're going to be doing this is because if you take a look at this, we have this in 3D space right now, and if I scroll and it zooms in and such, but this is going to get very, very quickly confusing uh, with using coordinates for our actual 2D level. We, we're going to get a little confused here, and it's going to be quite a bit of work to actually um, add on that kind of feature for a 3D plane when we don't really need it. Uh, we can just render over tiles. If we want things in the foreground, we can draw those first. If we want things in the background, we draw those Sorry, backwards. If we want things in the background, we draw them first. If we want things in the foreground, draw them last. There's not really a need for a 3D plane as cool as this is. So we're actually going to be going and converting this into just a 2D regular, a regular 2D uh, kind of drawing plane for us here. So let's get started with this. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to actually want a scale. So we're going to create this scale here. I'm going to use a double. I will call it game scale. Okay, and uh, we're going to go down and implement all of this for us. Uh, after the game scale, though, we do want to go into this perspective matrix, and we're going to change this up. I'm going to get rid of the level 2 as well, because we don't really need that. Uh, actually, yeah, let's play cleanup right now. We're going to get rid of the cam matrix, because we're not going to be using that in here. Um, what else? I think that was actually it. Oh, this base Z we can get rid of. And we can get rid of this scrolling, because we're not actually going to be doing this anymore. This was just for demonstration purposes. There's a little bit of cleanup. Okay, so let's actually go and change this to an orthogonal view. So what we're going to do is we're going to say make orthographic PHAC matrix. Right? Is that how you spell it? Orthographic. Yeah, I think it is. We'll roll with it. And we're actually going to put in some new variables here. Uh, we're going to put 0, 0.0. We're going to do game width. Game height, 0, 0.0. The min value is going to be negative 10.0, and the max value is going to be 10.0. Did I spell that wrong? Make or the graphic matrix. Okay. Uh, all right. So then, what we're going to do is we're actually going to scale this. So we're going to say make orthographic maker make orthographic matrix dot scale. We're going to scale it by game scale. And game scale and then 1.0 we don't actually want to scale the actual Z okay so that's the orthographic matrix there uh, we're gonna change up these let's do, let's do the shader right now we're gonna go into our shader and we're gonna change this up to actually use the new values so this VEC3 position is not gonna be a VEC3 anymore it's gonna be a VEC2 we only need an X and Y position why does this keep showing up go the fuck away please thank you uh, we're not going to use an offset. The color will actually make a VEC4 so we can have some alpha transparency. We're not going to use the model view matrix for now. We're not going to use the cam matrix for now. Make sure to change this varying color as well. You're the one. Um, does that every time I save. Uh, get rid of PP. And here we can just do this. We can do UP matrix times VEC4. And we'll just floor the A posts. Just to be safe. 0 0.5 and 1.0. Just to give it the extra values, get out of here. Okay, uh, make sure to change this color here as well to a VEC4. God damn it. I, I'm just gonna not save for the rest of this episode. We're gonna save it once. This is really pissing me off. I don't know why it's doing it. Um, okay, so make sure that's a VEC4 as well. And that should be. Uh, no, we actually need to do get rid of this as well. And that should be it for this file here. So I'm gonna save it, even though this fucking thing is gonna pop up. Let's pull it down there. Uh, let's go into the sprites now and let's actually make use of this. So we're going to get rid of the Z, we're going to get rid of the offsets, and we're going to add an alpha here. So this one is actually going to be uh, 0 plus 2, this is just going to be 2 plus 2, and then this will be 4 plus 4. There's going to be 8 in total. So drop this down. Uh, we're going to go down to where? Here. We'll take rid of that, we'll get rid of that. Okay. We're gonna get rid of the offset. So get rid of that, that, and that. We're gonna change this to a two, that to a two, and this to a four. Then we will change these to the numbers we specified above up here, two and four, for the indexes. We don't need these matrices, matrices. Don't need these matrices down here either. And in here, we're gonna get rid of the Z value. We're gonna get rid of U. We're gonna add an alpha, and we'll also add a uh, bool flip. 
and we'll default it to false. We're gonna add this value just in case we want to flip the sprite uh, on the x-axis or the z-axis, or we'll do the x-axis only right now, not the z-axis later on. And we're actually gonna update this render function here. We will say uh, if not flip data dot set all offset and then the iteratable or iterable or however you want to pronounce that. Now we got some values to put in here. So we're gonna put x plus zero, y plus zero, uh, u times w, we're gonna plus zero, let's do plus zero, and then plus 0 0.5, and then we'll do v times h plus zero, plus 0 0.5, and then rgba. So we're just doing the same corners as we did on the previous one. Um, if you're wondering why we were doing these values, you can check the last episode or not the last episode, where we actually did the actual sprite class here. Uh, so now what we're going to do for this is we're going to need a width here and a width here, and then the height and the height. We have nothing here, then we're just adding a width, then we're adding the width and the height, and then we add just the height, we subtract the width, okay? And then wherever we're adding the widths over here, we're going to add the widths over here as well, and we're going to subtract 0 0.5 just to scale it a little bit properly, and same with the height thing. Oops. H and subtract it here. Okay, so now we want to flip it on the y axis or on the uh, x axis. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and cute for kind of pasting correct. Not really, but that's okay because we could just do this. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to change the rendering UV coordinates and we're actually going to say plus zero here and we're just going to move it up to here and to here and that'll actually flip it. You can mess around with these values if you want. God, my typing today. Um, it was to you. If you wanted to flip the height, you throw the height up there as well, depending on what you want flipped. So that's that. Uh, this is sprite class done. Shader class, we did the shader class. So now let's go into the textures. I actually just wanted to append something here. Uh, in here, we're going to go text.load. Just to make sure that it's loaded. Um, if, it's, if it's not loaded yet, we're going to load it, force load it. So just to make sure in case we do some, some loading later on, we can that up in there. So that's it for that. Let's go back into the main function and we're actually going to change this sprites here. So we got the x coordinate, the y coordinate. We don't need a z coordinate and don't need these offsets. We got the width and the height. We got the two coordinates here and we're going to add a 1.0 here. That should be everything. Did I change? Oh, I didn't account for those. Uh, so I didn't add the this.a here. And I'll actually add a this.flip so we can test it out right now and we'll say false for the now moment so if i run this you should see if i've done everything correct which i did you do see the the uh, texture up here and you'll notice that the green is here blue here red and orange and if i go and i change this to true and then i run it again you see that it's flipped red's now here orange is there green is there and blue is there that's more of like a tealy kind of color not really but it's like a seafoam green uh, so that's going to be it for this episode. This was just a little prep for the actual level, because now we can actually use coordinates. So if I want something to render right over here, we can go uh, 1 times 16.0. And we're using 16.0 because that's the width of this tile. So if we run it again, you'll see that this one will render one tile over. So now we can actually just tile things perfectly and not have to worry about using and factoring in um, the Z and actual the camera and stuff. A little bit easier for us to uh, set coordinates here. So that's it for this episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Take a look at the Patreon if you want access to the full source code or you want to be able to check out the change logs or get in touch with me via Skype. There's a bunch of different perks you can get in there. Uh, so just take a look at that. And you don't have to support. It's just a very nice way to help me out. See you guys next episode when we actually take a look at rendering the level in here. Uh, now that we have a nice coordinate system that we can use, it makes it much easier for us. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good day, and I will see you on Monday.